the number three, the top, and the number four, the brush saver. And for these six colors, it's including like this, the khaki colors and two purple colors. So mysterious is the shimmer. So today I will now attention wear this color called number 155. So if you have the interest, you could get by searching GHDIP to get this kit information. So here's today's designs. We select another two colors from G6607 and made so like colors. So let's go back. For this color kit, it's including the six pieces, the first giant beam powder, like this color. And you Today we are going to do the decoration with the trims and the striping lights to do the nail design. So let's go. We already do all preparation, so now we pick out the colors. Here's the color number, called 152. And this one is like the blue colors. And this one is called 153. This color is a little bit gray. So these two colors we are going to make the design. And for this color is from the G6602. The color is called 141. And I want to say it's for the G6602, it's limited time to lightning deal now. And this color is the GLT03. Here's the chunky glitter. It's so gorgeous, the silver chunky glitter. So it's the new coming powder kit soon. And here's another one, the 06. For this color, it's from the G66072. It's the same loose, the chunky gl glitter too. It's from the G6607, the upcoming powder kit. We're going to launch at the Amazon.com. You just by searching GHDIP to get more information. We will launch many new products later in the future. So we already do our preparation. Now we we'll need to use the nail tips. If you do not have the nail tips, you could use the two stick to do the stir with the powder to avoid it sticking together, especially the chunky and the loose glitter. And for our model, we already wash the hands and push back the critical and cut off any excess critical. So let's go for the tutorial today. So we take out the bomb plate pad. For the bomb plate pads, actually you can find it from our deep powder accessories kit. For the bomb plate pads, this one is with fragrance without any smell we need to dry the nail bed first. So if you have the balm or the primer or the pH bread you, uh, at home, that you could use it to dry the nail beds to let the powder more stick with your nails. So first, we need to do all preparation that the powder will be more stick with your nails and more long lasting. So after the balm, we need to prepare the number one base. We take out the number one base and our base is easy to open. And now we need to brush the base to your entire nail. First, you need to apply the suitable volume of the base and then to apply to your entire nail. Not the entire nail, it's just the half of the nails and just like the egg shape. And going to tell off using a brush to help you. So you just to brush it randomly, like the X shape. We need to do it two times for the color powder. Just put your brush with the angle, the S shape, the half of the nails. You need to keep the brush flat and brush evenly. Here's the important point. And then dip into the color powder. Stay for a second and take out. Normally for two times is enough for our powder. And using a brush to help to brush off. 
And another is the Trunky Glitter. And this glitter, you could find it from our G6607. And for this upcoming powder kit, that you could find from our GH Dip by Amazon. So, and then dip into the glitter color. Stay for a second and take out. Using the brush to help to brush off. So because our uh, powder is the fast dry dipping powder, so it could be dried within 30 seconds, so you do not need to worry your brush easy to get dirty. So we need to brush another again for another time for dipping. Just put your brush and to brush like S shape. If you're mixing these parts, don't worry. We have another finger that show you again for this design. Sorry, it looks gorgeous. For this trunky glitter, it's called the number three. The GLT003. Just focus on our GH dip. We have new more new products to provide for you. So after dipping the glitter, you need to use in the hands or to press it to make it more stay with your nails because it's the loose glitter, the trunky glitter. And when you brush the base to your entire nail, you need to brush evenly and slightly. And using the nail tips to help to screw the clear powder and sprinkle on the nails. Actually, this way to help to protect your designs, but without dipping into the clear powder, that's your nail, that your fingers won't feel so thick or heavy. So return to another finger. And this one, we are doing the same. If you missed the last part, we are going to do it again. First, prepare the number one base. You need to apply the base with the suitable volume and to brush on the nails, just the S shape or any shape you want. You just do it half parts of your nails. And then dip into the powder, stay for a second. Going to turn off because we're gonna to brush the color powder two times. And now we're going to apply the base to your half of the nails. Just brush it, just like the S shape. You could do it half and half or any shape you want because later we're going to decorate with the trims. So this one we have to be made the X shape to let the design looks more perfect. So after two times of the color powder, we need to brush off any excess. So we turn now another side and prepare another color. For this color is the number three, the GLT3 from our upcoming, the powder kit called G6607. For that kit, including 12 pieces, the trunky glitter. So, and then we need to dip into the trunky glitter. Stay for a second and tie out. We need to brush off any excess powder which from your nail plate. We need to do it again for the second coat. We need to brush evenly and slightly, just like the X shape. And do not let the base to get on your critical. If a little bit, you could use the nails, another nails, another fingers to help to make it remove it. So we need to dip into the trunky glitter, let it stay for a second and take out. So going to use a brush to help to brush off any excess. As you can see for our powder, because it's the first round dipping powder, so it could be dried within 30 seconds by itself. And if you think it's not perfect, you could use in the Twixer to help to fix it, fix the designs. But for our powders, it could be dried within 30 seconds by itself, so you do not need to worry whether it's easy to come off. So now we are going to brush again to your entire nail for the base. This time it's the entire nail because later we need to use the clear powder to help to protect your nail design. Using the nail tips 
or if you have the critical pressure to help you to screw the powder and sprinkle on, that's your nails won't feel so thick and heavy. So let it, let it stay for a second, we are going to make another design for another finger. So after you saying you need to keep the powder caps tightly closed, no matter which items, after you saying you must to keep it tightly closed. But now we are going to do the tutorial, so you do not need to worry. We need to show you how to make it, especially the clear powder. It's so easy to produce, so you need to keep the cap tightly closed. So we take out the number one base and brush half, half of the nails. This time you could brush straightly and dip into another color. This color is 153. It's from our G6405. Our today's row for this color. The gray shimmer. So this color looks gorgeous. We need to do it two times. So now we're going to do another times. We need to brush evenly in half of your nails. And then dip into the powder, stay for a second. So as you can see where your base is, then the powder will be stick with it. So you do not to apply the base to your critical, to up to your criticals. But you must be to apply fully to your entire nail. So we're gonna to do another part, another half of the nails. We're going to apply the base evenly and slightly to make it same page of another part. So we need to dip into the colors. This number is called the zero six for this color. The chunky glitter is from our G six six zero five. No, 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 G6607, sorry. So for this color, you could find the silver chunky glitter. You need to brush it another, another layer. And then dip into the color powder. Stay for a second. Take out. So here's the important parts you must do keep the bows half of the nails, the base is evenly. So then you won't have any bumpy or uneven problem. Finally, we need to brush the base to your entire nail. Brush evenly and using the nail tips to help you to skew the clear powder and sprinkle on the nails. Let it cover with your designs to protect. So if you're missing this part, we're going to do another finger again. So return to this finger, another hand. So first, we need to prepare the number one base and to apply the base to half of your nail plate. Brush evenly. Make sure to brush evenly is so important. And take out the color. For this color is the silver gray. With the shimmer inside it. It's from our G6405. Normally we do the two coats for the color. So we're gonna to apply it again. The same way, and then dip into the powder, stay for a second. Take out and tear off any excess. So we're going to, to brush off any excess powder because you do not want your brush to get dirty. So return to another colors. Another color is the 06. This color is the silver chunky glitter is from our upcoming powder kit, the G6607. For that kit, including 12 pieces of chunky glitter, you have more choices. And we could do more tutorial by that kit in the future. So just focus on our GH dip. 
brush off any excess powder. Here's the important point. So we're gonna to shape it, shade the chunky glitter because you do not want the chunky glitter go into the bottom. So brush again to your another half of the nails. Dip into the glitter. Let it stick with your nails. Tell off. So bring out the brush. And actually for this brush, you can find it from our deep powder sex risk kit. For that kit, you have all kinds of nail tools to help you to do the deep powder nails. So if you find it uh, a little bit loose, so you can use the finger to help to press it. Don't worry, it will let your finger get dirty because our powder can be dried by itself. So we're going to brush entire nail with the base and then using the nail tips to help to screw the clear powder to protect your design. So I want to remind you guys, so if you are doing the shimmer or the glitter or the medium size of the glitter or the chunky glitter, you need to use the clear powder to protect it because later we are going to do the filing and the buffing. So for another finger, we take out the number 152. For this color, it's from our G6405. I think most of our clients already have this color. So now let's go run it. So we need to brush it evenly and dip into the color powder. Stay for a second and take out. As you can see, the shimmer is so gorgeous. It looks elegant. We need to brush the base for another layer for the second coat. But every time you need to keep it brushed evenly. Using a brush to help to brush off any excess. So now we're going to use this silver chunky glitter to make the designs. First, you need to use your brush, just brush like this way, just like the tears of the shop. The two thin way. And dip the chunky glitter on. Let it to stick with your nails. So if your nails are long, you could do the two part. If your nails are short, you could use it only do one part. So just put your brush to brush like the tears of the shark that you could have this design. Just up and down, up and down. So now we need to brush the base to your entire nail and then to cover with the clear powder to help to protect your design. So for this clear powder, you can find it from our deep powder accessories kit too. It's two ounce size. It's, hard, uh, it's durable and long last, lasting for this kind of the powder. It's the fast drying dipping powder system too. So we're going to do another finger. First, you need to take out the number one base to apply the base to your entire nail. Brush evenly. And put your finger 45 degree angle and dip into the color powder. For this color is the blue shimmer. The number called 152 is from G6405. For this kit, we have the limited time sliding deal at your Saturday. So we need to brush in tire now again. Every time you need to keep your brush flat and brush evenly, dip into the color powder. Let it stay for a second and take out. Using brush to help to brush off any excess. Prepare the chunky glitter. For this glitter is from our G6607. First, you need to put your brush just like this way, the W-O-M, just like the tooth of the shop. 
or just like the Batman. And then step into the chunky glitter to let the chunky glitter stick with your nails. So as I recommend, if your nails are long, you could do it two lines. But if your nails are short, you could just do it one line. Here's the decoration, the usage of the chunky glitter. So if you found it, the glitter will not to stick with your nails. You need to using the twixer to help to fix it. Do not worry, you just could use the twixer to help to fix it because the accident happens always. To let the glitter more stick with your nails. So we take out the clear powder. For our clear powder, you could use it as the base for the first layer. And you can use it as the cover powder to protect your nail design. We normally use it to protect the nail design, especially for the shimmer, the medium size of the glitter, and the chunky glitter. After these designs, you need to use the clear powder to protect it. And this size is the two ounce. It's the four times larger than the half ounce, so you can use it for a long, long time. So now we turn to the top finger. For this top finger, we still using this color, 152. We need to brush the base to your entire nail. Brush evenly from the middle left to the right. And put your finger 45 degree angle and dip into the color powder. So as you can see, especially for this kind of the medium, so medium length of the nails, you could dip into our powder. Because for our powder dries the half ounce, but with the big size of the nails. So it could be used with your long nails without overflowing problem. So every time brush the Base to your entire nail evenly. So I think many clients they want to ask why the powder will be easy to treat off. So I think there are some reasons. First, you must be to push back your cortical and then to cut off any excess cortical. And when you're doing the nail up process, you need to brush the base, but not to get on your base, get on your cortical so that your powder will be not easy to treat off. And every time you need to brush off any excess. So for this finger, we are going to apply the base to your entire nail again. And this, this time, we are going to dip into the clear powder because we just two layer of the of the powders, so you need to use the clear powder to protect your shimmer colors. Later, we are going to do the filing and buffing. So, prepare the number one base again. For the later finger, we are going to do another color. Another color is called 153. For this color, is the gray sim shimmer. On the camera, you can see the gray colors is so gorgeous. For this kind of the colors, a little bit light, so if you're doing on your nails, you could do two to three coats. But do not over, I think, because too over, too many layers of your nails, you will feel so heavy and very thick of your nails. So norm normally we suggest two times is enough. So we're going to apply the base to your entire nail again. For this time, we are going to screw the clear powder or dip into the clear powder to protect your design. So we are going to dip into the clear powder and to protect the design. For our clear powder, it's the first giant dipping powder system too. So it can be dried within 30 seconds by itself. You do not need to apply any activator to make it dry. So turn to this finger. We are going to apply the base to your entire nail. 
So, and then touch your finger 45 degree and turn it deep into the color powder. Stay for a second and take out. Brush off any excess. So we're going to apply the base to your entire nail again. Every time you need to make sure your base brush evenly. And then you won't have any bumpy or uneven problems. Using a brush to help to brush off. And now we're going to cover one layer with the clear powder. Dip into the clear powder, take out, brush off. After using, you must be to keep the cap tightly closed and we left one finger. For this finger, we are going to use this blue color. This blue shimmer color, call 152 from our G6405. And today, our nail technician wearing the 155 is the purple shimmer. So dip into the clear, the, the color powder. Let it stay for a second. Brush another layer of the base and brush evenly for every time. Don't forget the critical parts, but do not let the base to get on your critical skin. And dip into the shimmer color, the blue one, the 152, and go into tell off. As you can see under the camera, the color is gorgeous, just like the galaxy. So we're going to apply the base to your entire nail again. And every time you need to brush it evenly. And then dip into the clear powder. Going to tell off brush off any excess. So for our powder, it's the fast drying dipping powder. It could be dried within 30 seconds by itself. So normally after 30 seconds, you could do the filing and buffing. And every time when you're using our fast drying dipping powder, do not overuse the activator. Our powders do not need the activator to make it dry, but after buffing and the filing, you need to use the activator. So now we need to wait around 30 seconds. We are going to do the filing and the buffing. We need to prepare the nail machine, the nail drill to do the filing. If you do not have one, you could use the nail file to help you. So you could adjust the speed of this kind of the nail machine. Do not worry, it won't scratch your skin. So we need to use this kind of the nail file, the nail machine, to do the filing of any bumpy or uneven place. So if you find the place which bumpy or uneven, you could use the machine to fire off. And as I mentioned, why we using the clear powder to protect your design? Because we are going to do the filing. If you do not cover with the clear powder, that's your shimmer or the glitter will be easy to come off by the machine. So it's necessary when you're doing this kind of the designs, cover with one layer of the clear powder. So when you're doing the filing, you need to do it like this way. Slightly, but like this way, you have to do it slowly 
if you are not so familiar how to use this kind of the machine. So until now, we did not use the accelerator because for our powder, it's dry itself system, the fast drying. So you do not need to apply the accelerator when you're doing the filing. Do this lightly, and we're going to do another colors. So um, during the filing, I want to share with you for this kit, the 36405. You can find the limited time lining deal on your Saturday, 10 to 20 a.m. to 4 to 20 p.m. to Pacific Daylight Time. You just need to pay 26.76. You could get this kit. And we have so many upcoming the powder kits have the limited time line in deal. So you just focus on our GHDIP. Uh, when you enter the Amazon.com by searching GHDIP, you could get more information. So today we're gonna to do this tutorial to share with you when you buy this kit, you could do what kind of the design. So actually you could do many designs by the dipping powder. And dipping powder system is the healthy way to make the nail art. It do not need to use in the UV lamp. So let's turn, let's go back to the tutorial. We're going to do the filing for this finger. As you can see, because it's the chunky glitter. Normally for another chunky glitter powder, it's easy to come up, but for our fast joint dipping powder, it won't be. Because for our chunky glitter, it's the, it's the fast joint dipping powder too. And when you're using the, the clear powder, you need to have to cover it to protect the design. So after the nail machine, we need to take out the file, this one. For this file is from our the powder accessories kit too. This file we are going to do the shaping because no matter your natural nails or the artificial nails, we must be using the nail file to shape it. Let's your nails look more perfect. So we need to shape like that. For this nail shape, it's the popular one called the coffin, the berliner shape. I think it's most popular. Um, for your USA markets or the Euro markets, they like this kind of the nail shapes. So for this kind of the shapes, for the nail edge, it mu must be too flat. And a little bit short to show another two sides. It's so easy to make. And we're going to shape the nail first. Using this one, the nail file, you can find it from our deep powder accessories kit. For our deep powder accessories kit, including three kind of the nail file. The first one is the emery board. It's using for the natural nails for shaping. And another one is the nail file, now our nail technician using now. For this one, we're going to shape the artificial nails during the nail art process. And actually, if you do not have the nail machine, you can use this file to fire off any bumpy or uneven place too. And another is the nail file, just like the nail buffer. We're going to do the buffing. Later, we're going to show you. So here's another file from our deep powder accessories kit. For this nail file, normally you call it nail buffer because this one is with the sponge. And for this one, we will not let your nails get shiny, but we're going to do to let your nails more rough. And we need to use it to remove any oil shy from the natural nails. And when you're doing the nail art process, you, we are using it grinding the nail surface more smooth, but with the rough surface.
So when you're using this kind of the buffer, you need to take care. Um, if you are first to use the deep powder uh, accessory toes, you need to turn the nail buffer with the suitable angle when you're doing the buffing. And do not over buff buffing. Or your nails may be a little bit sensitive with this kind of the buffer if you are doing on your natural nails. So when you're doing this kind of the buffing, you need to turn it different angle because you want your nails service more smooth. So um, during the buffing, I want to remind you again for this kit. Today our nail technician using the purple color. The color is called 155. And in our model wearing the 152 and 153. These kits um, is called G6405 and this kit including six pieces. The mysterious, a little bit autumn color for the shimmer. Those colors are with the shimmer and including four pieces deep glue. The base, the activator top and brush saver. buy this kind of the kids as the gift to your family or your friends to make some fun. So we're going to do the buffing for another hand. Why we take so long? Because it's so necessary when you're doing your powder nails. You must be to make all process. Doing well, that you will see your powder nails will be long lasting over two weeks on your nails. So if you have the problem for the tripping off, I think you must be to push back your critical first and to cut off any critical the desking. And during the nail process, you must be to apply the base evenly and a little bit near the critical, but do not let it get on your critical because our critical will be moved every day, every time. So if you find it a, li a little bit easy to treat off from your critical parts, you just focus on this one. And we must be through the filing and the buffing because this kind of the way to avoid the powder will be easily come off. So another thing is that you must be to using the nail buffer to help to remove any oil or any shine on your first layer. And using the balm to help to dry your nail bed before you're doing the powder on your nails. And naturally for the dipping powder, it's the more easy way and more healthy way to make your nail art design. Because for the powders, you do not need to use it in a UV lamp. It's kind of the healthy way when you're doing this kind of the powder nails. So during the buffing, before during the filing and buffing, you must be cover one layer with the clear powder to help to protect your nail design. As you can see, after the filing and buffing, if you do not cover with the clear powder, and your shimmer or the glitter will be easy to come off. So we must be to suggest you, when you're using the shimmer, powder kit or the glitter powder kit, you must be to cover with one layer, the clear powder to protect your design. And one more thing, I think uh, most of our customer already focus on another two colors, the chunky glitter. Yes, because we are going to launch 
the nail powder kit with twelve pieces, the chunky glitter. For the chunky glitter is kind of the best way to do the decoration for your powder nails. And for our chunky glitter kits, it's including twelve pieces. We have the light color from the dark color and different kind of the chunky glitter. And today we using the number three and the number six from our G six six zero seven. For this chunky glitter, we are going to have on our GH dip soon. The Amazon shop, you can find this very soon. So just focus on our GH dip. So after the filing and buffing, you must be to using a brush to help to brush off any excess dust particle. And especially, we need to use in the link free wipe. For this kind of the link free wipe, if you do not have, you could use the paper towel. But uh, it must be the link free because we need to wipe off any excess dust particle from the nail plate. So until now, we did not using any activator, but after it, we need to take out our number two, the activator. So for our activator, you just need to only use one times after the filing and the buffing. So now we're going to apply the activator very thin layer to your entire nail. It must be the entire nail. So from the middle left to the right, brush evenly. Middle, left, to the right. So for this one, we are going to take out our, our striping type. The striping type. And actually for this kind of the striping type, we must be using the scissors to help to cut off So you could choose the striping type with the self-adhesive that's a little bit stick with your nails. Using any scissors or the critical nipper to help to cut off the excess. To so make sure on the middle, as you can see, for our chunky glitter is the holographic chunky glitter. And for our striping light, it's the same holographic effect. So it looks gorgeous, just like a bunch between two colors. So we need to apply the top for two times. We need to apply the top for another layer on. When it half dry but still sticky, we're going to apply another layer on. So for this designs already finished. So return to another finger. For this finger, we're going to use in the trains. The decoration actually is kind of the nail arts accessories. So you could buy the lightweight one. We need to apply the top first for the first layer. When it half dry but still sticky, we need to apply another layer on. When it's half dry but still sticky, we are going to apply another layer on. And we must be to prepare the trims, the trims, the easy way. We already cut off the suitable size. And to put it like the X shape, as your designs, using the Twixer to help you. So you must be to make it very soon. So you need to prepare it first for the suitable size of the trains and, and then put on the nails. So we need to use in the top for another fingers. We need to brush the first layer 
you must be to brush evenly, no matter the, which color of the dipper, no matter the base or the top or the activator. We must be to brush evenly to your entire nail. When we go back, the first layer already half dry but still sticky. We are going to apply another layer on. Don't forget the nail edge. We need to apply another layer on just like that. From the middle left to the right. And don't forget the nail edge. And turn to the top finger. As you can see under, under the camera, a little bit matte. Do not let it to complete dry. Do not let the first layer complete dry. You must be half dry but still sticky. So here's the design. Return to another hand. If you're missing this part, we are going to show you again. So we need to apply the number two, the activator. Brush evenly to your entire nail. After the filing and the buffing, before the top. So brush evenly from middle left to the right. And do the decoration for this finger. For this finger, we are we are wearing the number of 153 for the gray shimmer color, and another the twonky glitter is from our new upcoming powder kit, the number six. So we're going to use in the striping type. Striping type, you need to put it. Because this kind of the striping type is the self-adhesive. Um, so it will be a hit with your nails. And using any scissors or the critical nippers to have to cut off any excess. Just the middle one, one line. Because just line the bunch and to let your nails look more gorgeous between two lines. So we are going to apply the top again for the second layer. So this part, you need to do it as soon as you can. So wait around one minute, I think it will be get, get dry. So we're going to apply another layer on. So here's the point. If you are curious which color it is, this gray color is the 153, the gray color from our G6405. So turn to this finger for this color. Oh, I forgot to mention, for the left side, the blue color is from our G660. This color is called number 141 for this blue, the dark blue. The dark blue one is the 141 from our G6602. This, the G6602 is including 12 pieces of powder colors. It's the shimmer color too. So after two times of the top, we put the trains like this way, the X shape, X your design. Use the trickster to help you to pick out the trains and to decode on your nails. So it just like the bunch, it your nail, looks more gorgeous. I like it very much. So let this stay for a second. It will be stick with your nails, with the top, because it could be dry within one minute. So turn to another finger. We are going to apply the first layer of the top. Brush evenly. No matter which layer of the nails, we must be to brush evenly. Here's the important part. And when you see it half dry but still sticky, we're going to go back and brush evenly again for the second layer. We 
We must be to brush evenly to your entire nail. Just like that. And for our top, it's double shiny. And it could be dried within one minute. So it could be saving your time if you're using our fast drying dipping powder kit. It's kind of the newest way for their customer to use. Don't forget the nail edge. Let it for around one minute, it could be dry. So you just need to wait around one month, you could finish the design.